So if you live in the New York area and heard a loud scream last night, do not be alarmed. It was Harry Etten watching a contestant on the brink of victory make a mind-boggling wager during Final Jeopardy. The category is pairs in astronomy. Here's the clue. Discovered in 1877, they were named for siblings of the Greek god of love. Ben Kohler, what did you write down? What are Phobos and Deimos? That is correct. And how much are we gonna add to your score? 3,000, that gives you 13,000. Let's go over to our returning champ, Steve Clark. Did you come up with Phobos and Deimos? No, what are Sagittarius? How much did you wager? One dollar, that leaves you with $19,999. Congratulations, you are our Jeopardy champion. All right, our senior data reporter, Harry Enton, is here. And to be clear, it was that middle bet. And it wasn't, it was that not making a wager, which was the only way that person could have won. Explain. Yeah, the, look, when you have exactly half as much as the person in first place and say you're in second place, you know that that person in first place is either going to bet zero to guarantee a tie and then a tiebreaker or one dollar to try and go for the win. Therefore, if you're at $10,000, you must bet everything. You must bet $10,000 to get to $20,000 to have any chance of winning. And sure enough, this guy in second place actually gets this answer right. I couldn't believe it. I had no idea what the heck he was talking about. He gets the answer right, but only bet $3,000, thereby guaranteeing pretty much that he loses. It was like going for a two-pointer with two seconds left in a basketball game or no time left on the clock when you needed a three-pointer to win. One of the worst bets I have ever seen. It, ugh! What do you think happened? I, one of two things. Nerves. Maybe he just got nervous and didn't know how to do the math. Or maybe he was trying to guarantee second place. But if you're on Jeopardy, you go for the win. Well, no, there's no second place. Well, you get $2,000 if you get second place versus $1,000. But that makes no sense. I just think he screwed up the math. Are you mad at him? Or are you mad with him? I'm mad with him. How are you feeling? I'm mad with him. Look, there's a lot of pressure that goes on when you're on that show. I'm not mad at him, but it just is sad when you had the chance. He had the chance to be a Jeopardy champion, which is something you can say for your lifetime. And the truth is he screwed it up. Took a two-pointer when he was down by three at the end of the game. That's exactly right. That didn't happen here. Let's just make that clear. Gary Etten, thank you. It was click play. (laughs) Oh, look at that guy. New Day continues right now. He didn't bet 3,000. What a cute guy. (laughs)